Welcome to DC Pit Stop. It's always real talk. If you're in Washington, DC, this is the hottest place to be. And today we have in the studio the head coach of what? DC Breeze. That's the Washington DC Frisbee team. Daryl, welcome to DC Pit Stop. Oh, thank you, Kwame. And I appreciate you being here. When you talk talking about the Frisbee League, yeah. the ADUL, right? What, what does ADUL stand for? Uh, American Ultimate Disc League. <laughs> Five seconds. Shen, can he throw it the full 80 yards of the field? Are you kidding me? You are kidding me! Ultimate Disc League. Okay, the American Ultimate Disc League. And we have a not only a regular team in the District of Columbia, but we you've been to the playoffs, what, three years? Yeah, the, the last two years, uh, you know, I've been coaching. We made it every time, so that's a good sign. That's a, that's a great yeah. sign. A great Four sign. of the last five, too, so, you know, I can't say it's all me. <laughs> now, when you start talking about the Frisbee team, I, I, can I call it the Frisbee team? Yeah, of Okay, the Frisbee team. We talk about the Frisbee team in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. playoff team. Every three three years you guys have been there, you're competing with, what, New York, San Francisco, is it Canada? Uh, yeah, so we got Montreal, Toronto, Montreal. Ottawa, Okay. and then New York and Philly. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so you're competing with the best of them. Yeah. With the, with the best of them. And, and let me tell you, you're the head coach, not only the head coach of the D.C. Breeze team, but you're also the head coach of the University of Maryland. They have a... Yeah, the men's team there. Uh, you know, last year we qualified for nationals. It was an amazing run. Awesome. Um, but, like, I, that's, that's my pride and joy right there. I love those guys. You know, now when, when for, for our viewers, because when I talk to people, I say, hey, you know, you've been to a D.C. Breeze game. And they're like, D.C. Breeze, I know they're starting to grow. People are starting to hear about it. Yeah. You know, you go to a game, it's a lot of people at the game. Did yeah. you like, how did you all find out about Because, you know, Frisbee is not like the first thing I, I sure. think about, right? Sure. When, but now that I'm following it, it's exciting. It's the newest and hottest things that's happening in the District of Columbia. Walk us through, how many players are on, the, on a Frisbee team? Like, Sure. I mean, right now we got 36 players. Okay, 36 yeah. players. Now, how yeah. many are on the field at the same time? At any given time, seven are on the field. Okay. So for my team, seven for their team. Seven for their team. So it's seven, seven on seven. Right, at on the football field. Time. On the football field. Yeah. Full in football field. Full in. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, you know, basically you have to make sure that you uh, pass the Frisbee amongst your teammates to try to get in the other team's end zone. But the biggest difference is, like, you can't run with it once you catch it. So oh, we so have so to, once like. So, once you, so I'm playing. Right. Someone throws it to me. I can't take off and run. You like no. It. Once you caught the frisbee, you can't run. So once I cut it, I got I'm, I freeze. Yeah, you like got to set freeze, a pivot, and then I pivot, and then I look for who I'm gonna throw it to, right? Because I had to throw it, right? Right, right. Seven okay. seconds okay. also. So there's like a there's okay. a delay of game kind of uh, penalty. So you only have seven seconds to to, 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 to get it out of your hands. It. Yeah, otherwise the other team gets it. And then someone get to block you. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. they, they get to guard your throws. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Now they have walk me through, you know the process of getting on a team? So these players, majority of them have picked up the game. Um, now I've got a couple of players coming through middle school even, but a lot of the players picked up the game high school, college, okay. um, and they play uh, amateur divisions. And usually a player takes them at least, at least three, four years with a good program, kind of playing all those levels, um, all the available opportunities to him or, or her. And at that point, then they go to our tryout process. They find out about the breeze. They want to play breeze. Okay. Come through our tryouts. We had um, we had a shortened tryout process because I wanted to elongate the practice sessions. So uh, we only had like three three tryouts this year. Three tryouts. How many people tried for the team? Oh, this year was like eighty or so. Eighty. Yeah. Eighty people who came and tried out. Yeah. Whoa! I yeah. told you we had, we had the DC pit stop. It's hot. You know you, you're not hearing this. You're not hearing this nowhere else. Only on always real talk. We're yes. talking about a. Playoff team, D.C. Frisbee, and that's what we're here, right? Yeah. We're here to highlight extraordinary things that people are doing out there in our community, and D.C. Breeze is definitely one of them. So 80 people, three tryouts. With eight, so, I mean, I got to step back. You okay. know, when I was in school, you got a tryout, and then you go, and you got the first tryout, then you go, and you look at this list to see if your name is on the list, see if uh -huh. you made it to the next cut. And how, did, how does that work? Is that the same thing? Oh, uh, we got email now. Uh, <laughs> So, so I'm out dating myself. He's got an email now. So now they get an email saying, here are the people that made it to Basically, me. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're looking at the email, and then that goes from 80 to, what is the second phase? Oh, I think we got down to like, you know, 50? 50, then you then, go from 50 then like to, to... 35, or, well, actually it's like 40, maybe before the last tryout. Okay. And then I settled on 35, 36, 37. So how many people actually like make the team? Um, I 
I have some practice players this year. Okay. Uh, some young some young players in the in the district. So uh, we took a little bit more than thirty five, but thirty five. And where 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 do you play? Oh, uh, right now we're at Catholic University. That's right, Catholic University. Yes, Carlini you got a game, Field. Got a game this Saturday, right? Yeah, it's going to be in a brand new stadium. It used to be a soccer field. That's they right. They just converted it into a stadium. So if you stadium, don't know where it is, so. you got to go you're up and around. You follow that road. It's right there. A it's game in the Northern Park. In Northern Park. Of, what, what time? What time is it? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock Saturday. Come out. There's no rain. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about the recruitment process. But, you know, as a Woodrow Wilson Tiger, I have to talk about one of the phenomenals that you have that's sure. coming out of Wilson. That uh, We'll be right back. We'll talk a little bit more when we come back to D.C. Pitt. And we're back with Always Real Talk, D.C. Pit Stop. And we're here talking about... DC Breeze, because you know in the pit stop, everyone stops by the pit stop, talk about what they're doing, some of the phenomenal things that's taking place that most people don't know about. And when we left, we were talking about 80 people trying out for a team, then getting down to 40 to 35, then some people on the practice team, which is phenomenal. Game is Saturday. But I want to get to this, this student at Woodrow Wilson Senior High School. Uh. I mean, I keep hearing about this guy as a superstar. He's doing he's doing everything right, but he, he's not on the team. Is that correct? Yeah. So um, his name is Jacques. Jacques Nissen. Yep. That's right, Jacques. Shout out, Jacques. We're gonna we want to get him on the show. Oh. Oh, we're oh, gonna call. Oh. We're gonna try to get him on the show. We gotta it's get him on the show. Fantastic. He'll, oh, he'll love that. <laughs> yeah, we get both of y'all on the show whenever the time is right. That's right. When he's officially signed. <laughs> when he's <right>? officially. <laughs> um, so you know the Jacques ended up trying out part of the open tryouts, but we also knew of Jacques, right? Jacques yeah. plays. Um, Woodrow Wilson Tigers are very good at uh, ultimate. They're like one of the national teams, one of the top 10 or so, I think, in the nation. Did you say that Woodrow Wilson was one of the top? Top 10 in the nation. In the nation? In the nation. Okay. I, yes. Woodrow Wilson Senior High School. Yes. I, get, I know that place very well. <laughs> so they're, they're the top 10 in the nation. Yeah. The Frisbee team. And he's the captain. And he's the captain. Yeah. So. That's, hey, you, you heard it first. Woodrow Wilson, top 10 in the nation, the captain. His name is? Jacques Nissen. Jacques Nissen. And he's going to be what? Well, so. Tell us the story. We want to, you know, we're at the pit stop. We get, we, we're releasing some information right now at the pit stop. Oof. People don't even know right now. Absolutely. So Jacques, you know, we, we have a, the league requires us to basically play players as long as they're over the age of 18. Jacques, I didn't know he was under the age of 18. I thought he was still, I thought he was 18 at this point. He's, I knew he's a senior. Right. He's doing really good with, um, with, with Woodrow Wilson. So, you know, we invite him out, and he comes, and, he, you know, he plays through the, the trials. He's, he's doing really well. And, you know, that's not too surprising, uh, considering how good they are and how good he has been. Right. He's a French national team player. Okay. Um, so I, I wasn't that surprised. What I was surprised to find out was when I sent him a contract that he wasn't going to be able to sign that contract legally. Because he wasn't 18. Because he's not 18. He's 18. <laughs> so, so he wants uh, to play. I want him to play, yeah. But yeah, at the, at the moment. Does he want to play with D.C. Breeze? Oh, I mean, he's, he's, he's committed. He's, he's, he's committed. committed. He's, he's committed come to, to every Reese. single practice, and he's been my helper because he's not allowed to practice. Ah, but he's so been helping me. So, here we go. Me. Woodrow Wilson, recruit, going to be going to D.C. Breeze as soon as he's of age to be able to sign. Yes. To be a part of D.C. Breeze and then sign a contract because you got to be 18 to sign a contract. And uh, he'll be recruited. He'll be going to play with you guys. Oh, that, absolutely. Now, that's phenomenal. Where we find we have a professional team in the District of Columbia that has, and we're going to talk a little bit about the development league when we get back, but they have a development league, but then you go out and you find great talent right here, and you do what? You sign them. D.C. Breeze, y'all better go to a game Saturday. This Saturday, go to the game. What's the next set? What's the next game? Uh, it's May 4th. May 4th. We'll put it up May 4th. Go check out D.C. Breeze. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to Always Real Talk. We're at the D.C. Pit Stop, and I'm telling you, we've already heard some phenomenal news. We have a, someone that's being signed, and we're going to get him on the show, being signed as soon as he turns 18. But when we left, we start talking about something that I think is important. And we're talking about Frisbee and professional Frisbee. And most people, you, you know, you, you, certain parts of the city, you might not even know there's a certain thing called the Frisbee League. And what I really... And, and, and most uh, uh, proud of is what I've learned about what you guys have done. Uh, DC Breeze is their partnership with DPR to yeah. really go into Ward 7 and 8 and creating a development league or path for those that can get involved and be exposed to 
the, the Frisbee organization and, and playing uh, this particular sport. I mean, I remember Stoddard. You know, my kids play starter, everybody's mm -hmm. kids play starter, and, and that was their exposure to soccer. I was a coach, like I'd never played soccer before, but I was a, assistant coach right. at starter, right? And, and uh, my kids got involved. And to see that you guys are doing something similar to really creating this narrative now, is that correct? Yeah, um, so DC Breeze is partnering with a company I work for, American Ultimate Academy, okay. and Spirit of Sport, a nonprofit arm that the American Ultimate Academy started to, uh, to do this work. So. You know, you, you talked about Ward 7 and Ward 8. We're also in, in 5 because we're five, doing right. Trinidad. Right. I, just, I uh, just remember Ward 7 and Ward 8. And I, oh, know, I know you're all, first of all, you're all over the city. Yes. But you are concentrated in areas that may not have been exposed to Absolutely. the sport itself. I mean, we're in Trinidad. We're going to Berry Farm Rec Center, okay. Benning Stoddard Rec Center, Fort Stanton Rec Center, and then uh, Trinidad. So Those are great rec centers. Uh, they the are, and they have great football fields, too. Oh, so. man, they're just great. Great people, great everything. Yes. So this is wonderful. Um, so Coach Hall has really been working well with us there. Um, so basically, this is a league where we're bringing um, nonprofit dollars to come and provide, you know, discs, jerseys, and coaching. We're going to make sure that there are professional players or, or high-level players who are coming to help coach these teams for six weeks. Okay. And we're going to have a, um, a, a rec league championship. Okay. Uh, it was going to be real fun. Oh, and that's then, going to be fun. That's going to be that's going to be interesting. Oh, see the cream of it, right? June first, which is also DC Breeze game. We're playing New York, but before that. We rented the same fields out there in Catholic, and okay. we're going to make sure that we have a middle school tournament, a regional level middle school tournament. So we're going to take our boys that we taught in the city, and have a tournament. Yes, and that's. I'm still trying to think. You know, you, you got to catch and you got to stop, and you can't only hold it for seven seconds. Yeah. You can't run and you can't move. Yeah, right. I'm still trying to get that down. <laughs> but 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 I'm pretty sure they're going to do a way better job than, than I have. So let's just, let's just combine a little football, a little basketball with that's them, right? right? Just make so, it work. So what can we find? What can we find? What's the website for DC Breeze? Uh, it's thedcbreeze.com. Okay, thedcbreeze.com. Um, yep, and the AUDL.com. A-D-U-L.com. A A-D. The A-U-D-L. Oh, I'm sorry, A-U-D-L.com. Yes. Absolutely. Well, we're going to, everyone, go check out the website. If you got young folks that are interested in uh, the Frisbee League, doing something different, having fun, being a part of a playoff team, soon to be national championship team, can't oh, wait for it. Yeah. If they want to play with the superstar coming out of Woodrow Wilson, who's going to be signed as soon as he turns 18. So that's going to be phenomenal, too. Go check out DCBreeze.com and AUDL.com. Daryl, thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming to the pit stop. Appreciate it's it. It's always hot. Until next time.